Hello everyone, um, I'm Professor Samuel Johnson from VIT University. It's a great honor for us to uh, have a, a live talk with uh, Dr. Anush Ansari, maybe the first women private space explorer in the world. Uh, Ma'am, uh, good to have you here. Thank you. And we bring greetings from our Chancellor, Dr. G. Vishwanathan, and from VIT University. Uh, could you just throw just a, a short note? So as to coming from uh, Iraq, Mm -hmm. going to US, studying there, and then going to Russia, and then going to the space. Mm -hmm. um, what is your message to the youth of our country who are aspiring to get into space? Or what's your message to the students or anybody for the matter? Well, I think uh, my life is a good example of uh, what may seem impossible is absolutely possible. So when I talk to young people around the world, I uh, urge them to dream and mm -hmm. dream big and to go after those dreams. Uh, I tell them that uh, a lot of people around may tell them they cannot do things or uh, you know sort of uh, throw stones at their ideas but as long as they believe in it and they put their heart and soul into it uh, then there's nothing that can stop them. Sure and you keep coming to India very often like once in two weeks or mm -hmm. once in a month uh, what is your take on, on this country which is just coming up and what do you feel about our country India? So I feel uh, excited, that's why I'm coming here quite often working on a project in Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the reason I come here is also I see a lot of hope, I see this movement that has started from, uh, you know, from the youth energy that is in this country for transformation, for betterment of uh, the lives of every citizen here. And uh, it's very encouraging. I spent some time here at the conference uh, and, uh, and uh, met a lot of the young social entrepreneurs who are launching projects that will help you know, people in the rural area, the farmers, the students, all sorts of uh, different projects. And um, to me, that's the beginning of a long-lasting uh, positive change in the country. All right, and one last thing, like you are working on a big mission in the world to make space visits or space um, research or any common man in the future, like right? you're trying to bring down the whole cost. Uh, could you just tell now actually what is the real cost if somebody has to really go out and what is the vision, like, like any like phone, which is very costly once upon a time, but now it's affordable. And I hope you are the first person in the world who's thinking about working with other teams to bring the, you know, like any common man can go and visit and search. So how is, how is it you're working on that? Um, so to me, space is a big part of uh, sustaining human life mm -hmm. on this planet. And uh, our ability to access space and uh, do it cost effectively, efficiently, mm -hmm. means that we will get access to the resources in space, access mm -hmm. to material, to energy, and that will help uh, life here on Earth. And uh, on top of that, uh, the human experience of being in space and looking back at Earth is a life-changing experience which I was privileged to have and um, it makes you um, appreciate uh, our planet, our ecosystem better, it reprioritizes things for you. So that's why I want to see a lot of people do that. Um, the cost right now, you know, it started out a few years ago, maybe uh, as high as $100,000 per kilogram. Now it's in the tens of thousands. Uh, we hope to get it into 1000 per kilogram or lower. Um, so it will allow not only for humans to travel to space, but for us to uh, have businesses and research done in space uh, where we can, uh, you know, have to do manufacturing in space, you know, so it won't harm our planet uh, as much, or um, uh, create new material, new um, uh, treatments. Um, uh, one of the projects I'm excited about is solar-powered satellites, um, and uh, there are many, many different ways you can use uh, space uh, to help life here on Earth. And with lowering the cost, it opens up the possibilities uh, to innovation. All right, so uh, when we, next time when you're here, we would like to welcome you to our university. And it would be a great honor for you to host at our university and just address our students. 
Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It was, it was a great pleasure. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you.